everything sports that you might have missed over the weekend. And I've got your weather for the upcoming week. We've got them and your daily announcements coming up. I'm Michaela Williams. And I'm Morgan Owens. Stay tuned because NHS TV Live starts right now. In case you missed your Northwest athletes playing their hearts out this weekend, Kier's ready to get you all caught up. Kier? Texan Nation, welcome back. There was a lot happening this weekend, so let's get right into it. On Friday night, our basketball guys took on Eaton, and to no surprise, our guys would prevail as they beat the Eagles 62-45. to The guys have their last district game tomorrow night at home against the Brewer Bears at 8 o'clock, so if you can, make it out to those games before the playoffs. On Saturday, our wrestling teams competed in district play. There were so many wrestlers advancing, and girls would also play second overall as a team. Also, shout out to Coach McCready and Coach Fresh for receiving head and assistant coach of the year. <laughs> they compete in regionals next week, so cheer on your wrestlers as they're on the road to state. With all new additions to the school this year, I went to get the story on our baseball fields. Thanks to the $399 million bond passed in May of last year, Northwest High School, along with most of the other schools in the district, is receiving some upgrades. For our baseball and softball teams, this includes new turf fields. Varsity baseball coach, Coach Herrick, told me all about it. It's just a true playing service and it is, uh, it's great right now. There are many different pros to the turf, as Coach Herrick had nothing but positive things to say about the new addition. And, uh, it is absolutely beautiful and it's easy on the feet, I can tell you that. Not a lot of high schools have turf on their field, so our players have an advantage when playing at home. Oh, the difference is uh, huge. There's no lips that you have to worry about on a field. There's no bad hops or anything such as that. No divots they have to worry about. Compared to the traditional grass and dirt fields, weather shouldn't play as much of a role as it has in the past, considering there's not much to upkeep. The maintenance is, there's no maintenance to it except for picking up the leaves that are on the ground. Baseball season doesn't start till the end of the month, but you can catch your softball team as their season has already begun. So take yourself out to the ball game, enjoy the atmosphere, and cheer on your Texans. This has been Kier O'Connell, NHS TV. Remember Texans, be ready for our baseball and softball seasons as they're coming in hot. That's all I have for you today. I'll be back on Friday. Back to you, Morgan. Thanks, Kier. Seniors, caps and gowns will be passed out on March 6th. You must see Ms. Kemp in the East Office to pay your fines before you can receive your order. The NHS French Club is fundraising by selling love locks like those found on the bridge in Paris. It is a tradition for couples to write their name on a lock and then throw the key into the Seine River, symbolizing their eternal love. If students would like to proclaim their love, locks are available to purchase until February 14th in room 604. With the uncertainty of Texas weather and all the cold that's been coming in, I know we're all hoping for it to calm down a little bit. Ryan, hopefully you can tell us what we want to hear. Well, today is looking a lot like the weather we had last week. It's currently 38 degrees outside with a real feel of 32. You can look forward to plenty of sun all day today with temperatures reaching a high of 53 degrees and a low of 38. Winds will reach about 9 miles per hour, but it should be a fairly stable day. Now for the rest of the week, it won't be the same story. Temperatures will be ranging from the 40s to, believe it or not, the high 70s on Thursday. But don't get too excited because we won't be hitting 80 anytime soon. However, warm temperatures don't mean sunny skies in this case. We'll have cloudy skies for the majority of the week and a 30% chance of rain tomorrow and Sunday, but honestly, the only real threat is the amount of humidity we'll have. With the exception of those days, we should stay fairly dry but muggy due to high moisture in the air. That's all I have for your weather update. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Ryan. Let me tell you, Michaela, I'm so excited for the warm weather coming on Thursday. Yeah, I'm kind of over the cold. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tune Thanks. in tomorrow for the first ever Yesterday's News with NHS TV's own Wesley Bellish. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live. Mm -hmm.